Midge and Susie, it's a love story, really. It's a, it's a relationship like any other. And at this point, you know, Susie has kind of helped lure her away from the Joels, from the Benjamins, and said, come with me. It's almost a proposal. Trust me, I can give you the life that you want. I can give you the career that you want. And frankly, I have no idea if she can. And she has no idea if she can. And she's kind of like a duck paddling like crazy and trying to maintain a smooth composure on the surface. But I think she's terrified. She's, she's terrified that she's going to fail. But she's so hungry. Um, and within that, you know, their relationship is challenged this year. There's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs. And uh, we're not sure if, if Susie's going to fail and if Midge is going to fail. In terms of the future, I, I, I really would like for Susie to always be a bit of a, ro of a wily coyote to a roadrunner. I'd like her to constantly run into walls and fail and have anvils fall on her head because I think it's, it's more fun to play a character that's struggling than, than just have, has achieved and is done. The time that this show started, I was kind of done. I was done doing on-camera work, was like walking away from it. I had moved, I was like, and then Amy sent me this script and was like, please audition for this, and how could I not? It was such a cool character and such a rich world, and her writing's amazing. So yeah, she, she forced me into it.